Let's take a moment to look at x-ray reports. My sense is that chiropractors are some of the best healthcare um, providers at shooting x-rays, reading x-rays, uh, explaining x-rays, but they don't do a great job of generating an x-ray report, and they probably only do it once it's requested. But that is something we're supposed to be doing, so Easy Notes has a very easy way to do this. If I click on the x-ray report, and again, we grab our friend Harvey Lillard. We have two options. If the x-rays were taken out of the office, perhaps by the local hospital, if somebody came in with x-rays, we can do a read on this. Uh, if we do, uh, and we didn't take the x-rays, we would use the same code, the 72100, for example, and add a 26 modifier. And the 26 modifier simply says, I'm charging you, the insurance company, for my professional piece, not the technical piece. But let's say we shot these. So I would hit select. It's going to give us any reminders that, that are there. Now, you're going to indicate what views were taken. So let's say in our discussion about Harvey Lillard hurting his back, I might have shot uh, an anterior posterior lumbar and a lateral lumbar. And then I say done. At this point, it's going to ask what findings were normal. So I'm looking at the films, or if it was sent to me on a CD, I pop that into my computer, and I don't see any fractures. Uh, the bone density looks fine. Um, the soft tissue is good. There's no hematomas. Now, we're not dealing with any cervical or thoracic uh, structures, so I go right to the lumbosacral structures, and they look normal. The anterior posterior lumbar uh, is aligned. The disc spaces on the lateral look fine, but I don't see a normal lumbar curve. So I don't see a normal within normal limit lordosis, and I don't see a normal Ferguson line. So when I say done, it moves me to what might be abnormal in these pictures. So again, I'm just looking at what I found. So let's say there's a leg length difference. If I click on where it says leg length difference, and I draw my lines, I might see that the, the uh, femoral head on the right was short by nine millimeters, and say done, and that the iliac crest on the same side was also nine millimeters short. So I may be suspecting a short right leg. Then I look and I see that the ischial tuberosities are all bumpy, both sides. So if I have bilateral and thesiopathic changes, it would indicate tight hamstrings. Uh, then if I said, uh, well, let's look at any kind of degeneration. We have osteophytes, we have degenerative joint disease, uh, perhaps even like disc thinning on the lateral, perhaps it was pretty severe, and you can pick the segment, L4-5. You get the idea. You're putting whatever information's in there. I've gone into films and seen flea bolus and indicated that, excessive gas. Whatever is present on the films, I would indicate that, and then simply say, done. At this point, it's going to generate very quickly an x-ray report. Again, with my clinical information, the patient, the date of birth, the date of service, and then it's going to have normal findings, abnormal findings, and diagnostic impressions, my signature, and I'm done. Very, very fast. I used to knock off these x-ray reports in the time it took a patient to put on a gown. So it's a very quick way of dealing with this, and then it's in your record, and if you need to send it to anybody, you can do that. Thanks.